But Mark's getting the police to come, and it's becoming a full-on investigation. What the heck? Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Jordan. I'm traveling the world, and this video, if you have read the title, is about how I got all my stuff, all my valuable stuff, stolen in Morocco. How to get all your valuable stuff stolen overseas with Jordan. This video is a sponsored video! Because I gotta pay back the laptop that just got stolen somehow. <laughs> but being completely serious, this video is sponsored by Vision Direct. These guys are actually my longest supporter. So if you are ever thinking about buying some sunglasses, remember, the ones Jordan's wearing, they're cool. Why? Because the brand supports young, small YouTubers like me. Plus, the sunglasses are actually awesome and they make me look way more attractive than I actually am. Okay, so let's get into this juicy, juicy story. Can I just say, before I start this video, this has nothing to do with Moroccans and this has nothing to do with Morocco as a country. This could have happened anywhere, it just happened to happen in Marrakesh, Morocco. This could even happen in Australia, so it's nothing to do with Morocco. If you're Moroccan watching this, please don't take offense because your country is really awesome and most of the people are. Everyone but this one guy. <laughs> As many of you know, I was in Morocco one month ago and I was coming to the end of my trip. We just had two more nights in Marrakesh, looking for accommodation. I did the normal things that you always do. The hotel reviews were great from other people. The location was good and it was at a pretty decent price. The reviews were like safe, secure, cheap, location. I was like, yeah, yeah, I've got a winner here. This is so good. Me and my friend Mark, we rock up. We end up getting a private room each, which is so sweet. I never have a private room to myself, and now I'll never do it again. <laughs> Check in, we get everything sorted. My room ended up being on the fourth floor of the hotel, so the top floor in the back corner. And I thought, you know what, this is so chill, like, it's nothing's gonna ever get stolen from this far away. Like, literally, to get to the hotel, you have to go down some crazy alleyway, and then you have to go up four flights of stairs and to the back corner to get to my room. I was like, this is safe, everything is good. We put out, we check in, we put our bags in separate rooms, and we lock our separate rooms on the top floor of this hotel. We end up leaving for two hours, getting lunch and just walking around and doing some stuff, play suspenseful music. We come back, I go to my room, my bag is gone. This bag is sitting there, but, but this bag was not there. This bag had been taken. <sighs> Stupid me, because I usually take this bag everywhere I go, because it has all my valuables in it, hence why I take it everywhere I go. But this one time, I lapsed of judgement, I thought, you know what? will be all good, locked room, four floors, high, four floors high, dark alleyway, not dark, but alleyway. We're just so far hidden away, like there's no way this can be taken. So in this black bag of mine, I have my drone, I have my two cameras, my one Sony and my one GoPro, I have my about $100 cash, I have my two hard drives with all of my content on it for the last year and a bit. That's freaking valuable, and I have my $3,000 new laptop that I just got this year from Apple. Mm. So basically my whole business, my whole life, everything I own in this black bag has been taken. Stupid Jordan, once again, stupid Jordan, I know, why did I leave it in the hotel room? Don't ask me, I'm a dumb dumb. Alright, so my natural reaction, I obviously go to the hotel manager, I'm like, what the heck? Get back my bag, where is it? What you do? Like, I'm just like freaking out a bit, like, oh my goodness, my whole life is gone. Literally, like, everything I am in this bag is gone. Luckily, this hotel has security cameras, so we can see exactly what happened over the time period and all that sort of stuff. To quickly sum up the scenario, what happened was a local guy ended up staying at the hotel two doors down from me. The cleaner left the door open for a small period of time while she went to do her, the laundry, dang cleaner. So it was just left enough time for the local guy to come, snoop around, grab my bag. Welcome to the live replay guys. So the hotel manager leaves, giving the thief enough time to swoop in and take a little flippin' look into my room. He sees a black bag, which is obviously, that just means dollar signs to that guy. So with his little fat fingers, 
he grabs my bag and he slides it all the way into his room. Freeze it! Freeze it there! That is my bag. Witness the bag. Goes into his room with the sneaky bag. Uh, a few moments later, two to be exact, two minutes later, he walks out with my laptop in his hand. Look at that sucker. Just absolutely chuffed with himself. Yep, payday for you, bud. And now here he is, leaving my accommodation. Boom. Happy, happy chap. Happy, happy days for this boy. Woo. As you can see with the security footage, he ended up taking my bag, putting it in his room, which gave him obviously enough time to sift through everything and take what he wanted. I'm honestly kind of grateful he only took my laptop. Still, it was the most, yes, it was the most expensive item in there, but I had a drone, I had my passport, I had two hard drives with, um, like, irreplaceable, just irreplaceable content. Like, irreplaceable, like, just, you can't replace those hard drives. So we're opening this guy's room, I'm praying, I'm praying that I have, I'm praying that there's a passport, I'm praying that there's my hard drives. More importantly, the hard drives. I want the hard drives more than anything right now. This one. Number two. Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. Is my bag? Yeah, your bag. My bag. Oh my gosh. Please zoom, please zoom. My bag. What is in here? Oh, that was a thing book. Okay. Passport? Passport? Your passport? Yes, yes. He didn't even take the phone. Yeah. He didn't even take the extra phone. Crazy. It doesn't tell. He went through this? Where is passport? I don't know. Passport is here. Yes. Do you get passport? Hard drives. <laughs> hard drives. Hard drives. Hard drives. Yes. Ah, uh, this. Oh. So five hours later, we ended up finding my bag in the guy's room, and I was honestly just like loving life. Like the fact that I had everything but my laptop, and like maybe like hundred bucks, was amazing. I couldn't imagine what my life would have been like if I was stuck in Morocco, no passport, no hard drives, no, oh, would have had, oh, life would have been the worst. I ended up having to go down to the police station, which I sat there for about four or five, four hours, like it took me flipping forever to fill out one form just so they could approve that my travel insurance can get my laptop. Hopefully when I go home to Australia, I can get that claimed back. Anyway, I got a little documentation saying that the police, blah, 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 blah. Rewatching the footage over and over, I do kind of think it might have been an inside job where the hotel manager sort of like left and his friend sort of stole my bag and this sort of thing. It 100% could have been teed up and with the cleaner and the hotel manager and everything. Uh, the next morning I find that I have a booking.com notification saying that, saying that the owner has said that I have not stayed here last night. So the fact that he said that I didn't stay there, which, mean, which means I can't give them a bad review on booking.com, so I can't sort of prevent this from happening to future people because he went into the system and sort of canceled my booking, even though I did stay there. But I just thought I'd make this fun little video. Well, it's not really fun. <laughs> I just thought I'd make this video because I had the security footage and it's a good memory for me and it's a good warning for you guys to just remember that when you're in foreign countries, these things can happen. I almost respect the guy that took the stuff from me because he knows what he's doing. Like, he basically knows that I'm a Westerner that's coming to visit his country. Even though it did take a dent to my money, I did buy another laptop like three days later when I got to Barcelona. So it's just like, I almost respect the guy that stole my stuff because he knows that it's like, I'll probably get it claimed back on insurance and it's probably really good for him and he knows that it will only have a little small dent in my life where it would actually benefit his life a lot. Obviously, stealing is bad, but if you're gonna steal, yeah, just take the laptop, don't take the hard drives of the passport and yeah, we'll be sweet, <laughs> we'll be sweet. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, yes, that was just a fun little story. Not, not fun. Not a fun story. That was a story I had from my trip to Marrakesh, Morocco. Be careful there, guys, because I have heard of a few other people that have had some stuff stolen in Marrakesh as well. Although the place is beautiful, the place is great, and the locals are, on the whole, pretty friendly. So I still advise you 100% to visit Morocco. It's an awesome place, but I just had this one unfortunate incident. 
So yeah, apart from that, we will get back to our regular regime when it comes to travel videos and tips and tricks and all this fun stuff. Oh, and remember to check out the Arise collection from Vision Direct because they're awesome sunglasses. You guys are awesome. Everyone's awesome, so let's be awesome together. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for tuning in. What the heck? Bye! So if you liked that video, you can hit subscribe and you'll see more from me. And you can click on this video if you want to see my Moroccan adventure.